The guy was a pisser. Look, here's the deal. Uh, speaking of uh, Brucey e. Mittman, is yeah, he boy. still around? Boy. Now, this is just a, an email I got uh -huh. that I will not be commenting on, oh, but Bruce right. Mittman did uh, write to me last night. Subject, welcome back. Wonder what Howard is thinking today. Best of luck. Still want to have dinner. Uh, kill WAF, will ya? All my best, Bruce. Oof. Jesus. So he's still in our lives. And he, Boys. He keeps touch. Boys. Yeah, he slid he that touch. thing over. And uh, it, it was the, um, we were talking about like who's taking care of business. Opie was pretty much, you know, the taking care of business guy uh, back then. Uh, N.E.W., very much in that. You you had uh, strong relationships with uh, Ken Stevens, uh, Tim Sabian over at YSP. And I was pretty Oedipus, much. Oedipus, Oedipus up at BCN. On. Right. And I was pretty much. You know, hey, can someone get me a, a Sam Adams? Someone get me a goddamn and, uh, beer. Uh, I'm just hanging out, doing the show, time of my life, enjoying myself. Uh, we get the boot, and like things just happened. And kind of when we came back here now to XM, there was like not a role reversal, but just things have changed. Opie has calmed down a bit. There's been a shift. There's been a shift. <laughs> there's been a shift. You know when there's a lane closure? <laughs> It's bad, but then there's a lane shift. People still slow down, but it really, it's still the same. It's, but we're still going down the highway. It's been a shift, I'm and up. I all of a sudden have have <laughs> inherited certain responsibilities that I never really had. I still don't like dealing with management, although I have to. I don't like doing any of the talking. I'm still right in there, though. Yeah, I really am. You're in there, but I've I. Uh, I'm, but I'm... you're more of a laid back. <laughs> like I'm the the second a bill comes in, like I pay that fucking thing immediately. I don't care what the due date is on it or anything. That's me. Uh, I do it all myself. Ope is still bills and Manila envelopes, sending them off to Daddy Bob, because I yeah. don't know what the hell is going on. Things are always getting confused. I hear from we, – we share a financial guy, and he doesn't tell me any intimate details about that. But he goes, could you tell your partner to maybe give me a call he's, because we have to talk about you know insurance and things like that. He used to say that about you, you know. I know. See, that's what I mean. It's slowly shifted. And I almost made him puke the other day. Where he's over my house, and he goes – I couldn't believe when you called my secretary to confirm this appointment. <laughs> like I called up his office to confirm that you know how it bad it's on. gotten. Uh, I kind of have not kind of. I have the last three paychecks that Bob sends. Yeah, that we're so, supposed to put in in the bank. Right, just laying in my you palm. Asshole. <laughs> you know what kind of interest you're losing? I know. Did you have a money manager account yet, <laughs> or are you still putting all your money in a checking account? No, no, I got uh, I got a few <laughs> accounts, but it's kind of like um, you don't have direct deposit though with that. Nah, nah. See, it's okay. kind of like it's kind of like it. it's kind of oh. like Chevy Chase and Caddyshack. I just got checks keep, laying keep it. Now. Keep it. <laughs> this is a check for fifty thousand dollars. Keep it. I don't know. My priorities have changed in the last couple of years. Yeah, so. you're 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 a lot more relaxed. Mm -hmm. See, that's good. That's a good thing. Uh, the bad thing is, um, I have to deal with certain things. That's right. But it's okay. And uh, last night, nine o'clock, <laughs> Opie calls. All hell is breaking loose once again. Yeah. Phone calls. Uh, I'm I'm talking to people I never thought I would talk to in my life. Right. Lawyers are calling. You guys negotiated calling. this deal, huh? You guys did this deal. What deal? There ain't no deal. The, the, X, <laughs> the XM deal from no, no, two years ago. Super Agent Bobby. No, Bob's been in our life for uh, over 10 years Since now. we got the boot from AAF. Bob oh, yeah, okay. Eatman has Not been, over 10 years, right. Been the guy. About seven, eight Pretty years. Pretty close. Um, so, yeah, he's been the guy that uh, does all the stuff. So I'm on the phone with Bob. And uh, I, I get a call from Opie, though, before all this at about 9 o'clock. And we're talking about, you know, things that are going on and... And apparently we're supposed to get some things faxed to us. Now, Opie, in his infinite wisdom, has decided against the fax machine. <laughs> I don't... I, 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 do you know printer faxes and everything? Go for, they're so cheap now and so easy to plug into your computer, USB. Boom, you're in. You load up the software. You now have a printer, a scanner, a fax machine... It, it, go to CompUSA today and please just. No, get my one. brother gave me a, um, a printer and Wait, fax machine. So you have one? It's in a box. <laughs> it's in a box, of it's course. It's in it a is. box, and it's been in my living room for two to three weeks, and that's where my paychecks are <laughs> sitting on. 
<laughs> so you gotta open it and hook it up because I don't, I don't, want, I don't want people to think I live like a slob. It's not that no, slob. There's nothing to throw around to look slovenly. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not. You know, I'm not a slob. It's just these. You know things I should be taking care of. You I, live I, like I, I just get to eventually. You live like a guy on the lamb. I'm starting to live. Is what you do. You, you're just like you're in an empty room, minimalist. It's like one of those boiler room scenarios: a phone and a computer, and you're scamming people out of their credit card numbers. <laughs> I kind of always wanted to be a hippie. I think <laughs> is that it? <laughs> so I decided this. <laughs> you're a minimalist. Uh, well, you're nothing a list. But my brother got some kind of printer and had a problem with the company, and uh, they sent him another one, and they wanted the one they sent him back, and he says, fuck them, take mm -hmm. that one. So I got one now. All right. Well, hook it up. But anyway. So, yeah, 9 o'clock, uh, Bob, Bob is on the phone with me, and uh, apparently right then and there, things had to be done. Uh, he goes, all right, I'm emailing you some uh, paperwork, print it out, uh, <laughs> sign a few things. And then fax it to this number. I'm like, okay, that's easy enough. He goes, where's your, your partner? Oh, he's asleep and he's shut off his phone. <laughs> because that's the last I heard from Opie at 9. Now 9.30, Bob calls me and I have to tell him that Opie is home asleep with his phone off. Unreachable. Unreachable. I got lawyers on one phone, Bob on the other, no Opie. I have goes there any way to wake him up? I go, I don't know. You might be able to call Ben. He could knock on his door. No. I have different... I, my responsibilities have changed. Yeah. I, they called at 5 and said, look, uh, you're going to be around for the, you know, near a fax couple machine hours, or a printer said. or whatever yeah. uh, in the next couple hours. I mm -hmm. waited till 9, and I was tired. We had a long day. <laughs> we had to have top secret meetings in the middle of nowhere, and all sorts of weird things were going yeah. on yesterday. Well, this certainly wasn't the scenario I had in my head was walking downstairs into my little office in my underwear, scratching because I was in bed, uh, flipping the light on, fa printing out a bunch of papers, and signing things like with sleepies in my eyes, in my in my undies. That was that. That's the big thing. Yeah, Not man. getting a, a whole, you know, it, it, isn't it supposed to be some kind of gold pen? <laughs> I want to be. I want to be like. An athlete, how the athletes do it. Yeah. I want to be wearing the the uniform. Yeah, what the hell? Bob on one phone. Instead, I'm getting yelled at. Scratching my balls, signing papers, waiting. Opie's asleep. Opie's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus H. Christ. So then I get this Wait, from Bob. I just want to stress that once again. Mm -hmm. Probably the biggest day in our radio careers. And, One of them, at least. And I'm asleep. And you're asleep at the wheel. And that's my new thing, too. When I, it's time to sleep, it's sleep time. You go to sleep. Turn I, used off to, the phone. I used to keep my phone on. People would wake me up in the middle of the night because this business had to be taken care of or this had to be taken care of. Not anymore. No. When it's sleep time, turn off all the phones. It's sleep time. It's sleep time, yes. So I'm doing it. And then now Bob and uh, some of the lawyers are getting to know the dynamic here now. They're seeing the lane shift because Bob then tells me, uh, Anthony, um, could you also, I'll email you Opie's um, stuff, and could you print all of it out and bring it in to him tomorrow morning? So now, instead of having to get Opie to go to a Kinko's or something to get his faxes, I'm there printing out 8 million pages. I had to reload my fax machine with paper. Uh, at 11 o'clock at night. Now you know what I had to deal with for years. You never did that at 11 o'clock at night. You you were more the inter-office guy. Once you got home, you took a lot of phone calls and stuff. Right, right. But 11 o'clock at night, I'm, well, I'm and loading that's, up paper. And that's why I had to turn off the phones, because I need my sleep or I can't do this radio show. And you knew and you would have had to go to Kinko's. yesterday was a crazy day. Or, or down to the store. Actually, you would have had to. Here was Opie's plan. You were going to come from your apartment to here, yeah, to the XM Studios yeah. to get a fax. <laughs> and when you told me it was like 50 pages or whatever it is, yeah, oh, I would have been livid. Even oh. though it's supposed to be a you know a, a great day, I would have been livid. And you were pretty livid this morning, by the way. Oh well, that's because I I then you almost had threw to... the fax machine across the room. Well, first of all, I had to deal with you on the couch. I'm handing him papers. Sign this here. Line three, right there. No, you sign it, then you print your name. Date it. 
the 21st. <laughs> okay, give me back. Now, both of us, sign this. But I didn't sign Take right it. away. I'm like, no, and then, and then he disappeared. I go, where is he? He disappears. I had to get my smoothie. Then he got, I get your smoothie. Because, comes back because Doctor Ian Smith says I need more protein in the morning. But I'm very happy about that too. And I would have, sign the goddamn paper. And I would have more energy if I just uh, had a little more protein in the morning. He knows my protein was way down because mm -hmm. I had to take. I had to write a journal about everything I eat. <laughs> and then there was an analysis made. A journal at a Starbucks a couple days ago. That's wonderful. Doctor Ian Smith is my personal. Uh, nutritionist uh, rocks and uh, and uh, I don't know health guru health guru right that's pretty cool matter of fact to have he, on your side he's suggesting uh, mid-show meditation <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to say no <laughs> on the mid-show meditation and I'll be wearing robes in the very near future <laughs> And don't get too uh, shocked when I come in completely bald. Robes? Uh oh, <laughs> no, not those oh, type of robes. I got you. <laughs> so oh, yeah, yeah, but I walk in at uh, I don't know. I was a little late this morning too, which wasn't yeah. wasn't the best thing.